Hello. Uh, as you see, that I'm standing exactly in front of the Central European University main building. And you see there is a sign, I stand with CU. And physically, I stand with CU. But uh, as a journalist, I'm not going to uh, support any approach. And as you know, as you understand nowadays from international media and also local media, uh, there are some huge discussions uh, on the European Central European University after the uh, adopted uh, recent bill uh, by the government uh, uh, about the activities of the foreign, uh, the foreign universities or institutions in the Hungary. And this topic is very, uh, takes a more time to, I mean, to attract more attention from the Within, within the Hungary, uh, in the Europe, and also international uh, uh, society. So this time, I'm going to join one, uh, and I'm going to join one protest and ask the opinion of the people why they are joining this protest, and uh, what their opinion about this issue. So at the end of the program, you will decide on this uh, issue. Thank you very much for watching. here uh, I am here because our, our government is going a very wrong way uh, our country is uh, our government is uh, doing very bad things uh, uh, with uh, the civil sphere and uh, with the education and and, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, government is our there is few people who privileged who thinks they are privileged and and they didn't think, think about the other ones and I think it's very important to stand out, stand out for the other ones who, who can, cannot get pre represented in the state. In the What's your message to the government? Uh, but to consulate with them, but a real consulate. Thank you very much. You're right. Because I don't agree uh, the new uh, uh, civil uh, uh, law of the government, of our government. And, uh, and I stand absolutely with the SEO. With the and with the uh, civil companies, societies. Thank you. I'm here because I think that the youth, and or especially the youth, but also uh, the elder people are um, fed up with the government and the government's politics. And so I think uh, with that uh, educational law, they just, um, they just exaggerated, so. I'd like to protest the latest craziness of the Hungarian government. Where they're trying to dismantle every sort of democratic institution, they're trying to control civil rights movements, they're trying to shut down the university. And it's outrageous what they're doing in this country. What's your message to the government? Um, they should just resign, back off, uh, sign a new election. I'm here for two reasons. One, specifically because of the CEU and the attack on academic freedom that this means and also the loss it will mean for Hungary and the students and the teachers. The second reason is the attack on the CEU is just another in a series of attacks on anybody who thinks differently in this country. If you think differently here, you need to stand up for your rights and you need to fight. What's your message to the government? My message to the government is what I wrote here actually in Hungarian. It says that the people should not be afraid of the go of government, but the government should be afraid of the people. I think now something has changed in Hungary. We're not afraid of them, they're afraid of us. Because I am a, a leader of this foundation, this is a foundation for the paleontological studies, 
in Hungary and in, in, in the paleontological department. I am an assistant professor at the paleontological department. And in the last two years, we didn't get any one coins for my studies and for my PhD students. I have three PhD students and we have to earn money and have to uh, do a lot of business to get money for our research. And uh, if, if somebody help us, uh, they want to cut it. So it, it's a scandalous, I think. What's your message to the government? We have to pay more... <laughs> sorry, sorry for my dog. I have to pay more money for the education because without the basic uh, um, credit, we cannot do anything.